the establishment has caved. The reporting restrictions uh, on Tommy Robinson's case have now been lifted, in no small part thanks to the thousands of you that came out on Saturday and Sunday in central London. We proved to the political establishment that we will not remain quiet anymore. Uh, the case got ridiculous. It was reported in the US press. It was the lead story on the biggest aggregator in the world, the Drudge Report, and yet we had a court trying to impose these anti-Diluvian reporting restrictions on the UK media. Well, they have now been lifted. We can now talk about the case. And let's talk about the case for a minute, because now we're hearing, oh, actually, Tommy Robinson uh, pleaded guilty. Well, why did he plead guilty to contempt of court when he was arrested? And remember, he was not arrested under contempt of court. He was arrested for saying, uh, for breach of the peace. You can see that in the video that he put up on his Facebook Live. He was arrested for breach of the peace and told that he wasn't going to be charged. Now, about four hours later, of course, he was dragged in front of a court and he was charged. He was charged with contempt of court. He was, it was said that he was going to prejudice the case. So, as I understand it, and this may well change, but as I understand it, at this point, he was not represented by his own lawyer. He was not represented by the lawyer that represented him uh, 12 months ago in a similar situation. He was represented, I'm told, by a public defender, by a solicitor who does not have, who would not have, especially not within the case of four hours would not have expertise on contempt of court. It is a very, very specialist part of the law. And I've no doubt that it was that solicitor that convinced him that if you plead guilty, you will get off maybe a month, maybe two months, whatever it is. Then the judge comes down with a 13 month sentence. So before you go out there and you hear all of the, oh well, Tommy pleaded guilty, that must mean he's guilty. Let's examine the context behind it. Anybody who's gloating about this, anybody who's saying, oh, this is case closed, these are not serious people. They do not understand what actually happened in this case, and we are going to keep reporting on it. The reporting restrictions are now open. Let's put the pressure on the mainstream media and get it all out to social media that this is what happened. Under the duress of arrest, Tommy Robinson went to prison, and we're not gonna let it stand.